Hello, we're going to do a video demonstrating long division the Singapore way. So if we start with the problem like 76 divided by 3, the way that we learned growing up, we would, we would start by saying 3 goes into 7 how many times? But in Singapore math, we really focus on division as the process of dividing quantities into equal groups. So instead of saying 3 goes into 7, because what does that look like if you're dividing things into groups, we start with the objects that we're going to divide. So in 76, we start with our tens. If I have seven tens, I want to divide them into these three groups. So my first step is to divide. Seven tens divided into three groups is two tens in each group with some left over. So because I was able to put two tens into each group, I write my two above here. My next step is to multiply. So three groups of 10 is six tens, or 60. Because I started with seven tens, but I was able to divide 60 of them, I subtract it out. So we started with 76 things, and 60 have been grouped. So 76 minus 60 is 16. I have 16 ones left to divide. So my next step is to repeat. Because I have 16 ones, and I need to divide them into three groups, I can put five ones into each group. Five ones into three groups is 15, so I subtract out 16 ones minus 15 is one. And because I can't divide one one into three groups, I have a remainder of one. So let's try that with another problem. So let's say I have 94 divided by five. Starting with my tens, nine tens divided by five is one. If I have nine tens and I want to divide them into five groups, I can put one ten in each group. My next step is to multiply. One ten times five is 50. I had nine tens to divide. I was able to divide five tens or 50 of them, so I subtract. 94 minus 50 is 44. And then I repeat. I have 44 ones to divide into five groups. 44 divided by 5 is 8. And then I multiply. 8 ones times 5 is 40. I had 44 ones to divide. I was able to divide 40 of them. And so I subtract them away. 44 minus 40 equals 4. Because I can't divide 4 ones into 5 groups, I have a remainder of 4. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.